This is amazing. They, uh, a new study, this is out of NASA, right? The National Aeronautics and Space Agency, um, the Jet Propulsion Laboratory. They led this study. It was published in Nature, you know, a peer-reviewed science magazine, which shows that Greenland's ice cap is losing an average of 33 million tons of ice every hour. 33 million tons of cold, fresh water pouring into the North Atlantic every hour hour from Greenland. They uh, did a study from 1985 to 2022 using satellite photos and that kind of thing. And over that 38 year period, Greenland lost about 1,930 square miles of ice, equivalent to 1 trillion metric tons, roughly the size of Delaware. Uh, Chad Green, a geologist with, or glaciologist with uh, NASA Jet Propulsion Laboratories said, uh, told the New York Times, quote, almost every glacier in Greenland is retreating, and that story is true no matter where you look. This retreat is happening everywhere and all at once. He noted that uh, these narrow fjords are the bottleneck, so if you start carving away at the edges of the ice, it's like removing the plug in the drain, which brings up the big fear, which is the AMOC, the Great Conveyor Belt, the uh, Atlantic Meridional uh, Overturning Circulation could collapse. And if that collapse, you're going to see food insecurity in Asia, South America, and Africa, and I would add Europe. I mean, this is the scenario that, you know, we all saw in that disaster movie, what, five, six years ago, uh, the day after tomorrow, where the AMOC shuts down and suddenly, you know, the eastern coast of North America and, and uh, the, the western half of Europe just goes into the deep freeze. Obviously, it was highly dramatized. You know, it made something that would take probably a decade or two to happen, happen in a matter of hours, but uh, you know, it's a real story. So keep an eye on it.